Welcome to Flip It Furniture. My name is Amy. I got this little side table for free. One of my neighbors put it out on trash day. It's in pretty good condition and it's really cute, so I knew I could give it a good makeover. I clean my piece using Dixie Belle's White Lightning Cleaner. I already have this mixture all set up in my water bottle. So all I have to do is take the drawers out, spray the entire piece, and then when I'm done spraying it and cleaning it, I use a water mister and I just rinse it down with some water so that there's no cleaner residue left on the piece. For the base coat on this piece, I'm using Dixie Belle's Sand Bar. I only have a teeny tiny bit left, probably two ounces in this eight ounce container, but it ends up covering the entire thing and I get two coats out of it. Using my water mister with this paint really extends the life of the paint. Then I work my way down the spindles. Another way I could have done this was flip the table upside down and did the spindles first and then the top afterwards. But it was okay, this table is really lightweight so it's easy for me to lift up and down and move around. And once the first coat is dry, I add my second coat the same exact way with my water mister, my brush, and my little bit of paint. Just to add a little bit of dimension to this piece, I'm doing a wash with sawmill gravy. If you want a wash to be really noticeable, you're gonna use more paint than you do water. I don't want this to be really noticeable. I just want it to give it a tiny bit of depth on the tabletops and on the front of the drawer. Just a tiny bit of dimension. This table is gonna look really soft and delicate. I added a lot more water so that I could get that really soft look. Like as you can see, I'm not putting hardly any on it and I'm taking a lot off. And I want to show you how I go about adding the wash to the spindles. It's just how you would think. I'm just going to take my time and go around the spindles and then when I use my rag for wiping it off, I rub around the spindles with a very soft touch. I want to be careful not to take any of my paint off. As you can see, I'm rubbing the sawmill gravy onto the sandbar, so all I need to do is use a little artist brush and touch it up afterwards. Now to really step up the beauty factor on this piece, I'm using the Dewy Morning Transfer. I have to choose between all these gorgeous flowers and I think I want it to be really, really soft. Um, so I think I'm gonna go with the purple and I'll add a little bit of green. I always take about 20 minutes before I apply the transfers to move them around the piece and figure out how they would look the best. I always cut more than I need just to, you know, try out different things. But once I figure out my pattern, then I take the transfer off of the backing paper, I stick it to the piece, and then I use the tool provided and I just rub it on. Um, sometimes it's easier than other times, but you just take your time and, you know, do your best.
And here I'm just building out. I add the flowers to the greenery. This is a burnishing pad for using the Terra Seal wax, but I use this to get rid of the halo, which there really isn't a halo on this transfer, but um, just to make sure it's on really, really well. And if I have any little parts sticking up, that burnishing pad will just take it right off. And I really loved it because when I was doing my wash, little flecks of dust were on my rag and that little burnishing pad took it right off. So I really like that pad. It might be my favorite for, you know, just some in-between light sanding. To seal the piece, I'm using Dixie Belle's clear coat in satin. I like to pour my sealer in a separate container or on a paper plate, but be careful with your paper plate because you could get some of the dye from the plate into your sealer. Um, but I do this because I just open my container briefly. I don't want anything getting in there, no dust or um, hairs or anything like that because when you paint your light colors, you can see all of that in your top coat. So you have to be very careful. So I just open it, pour, and then close it right back up so nothing can get in there. And so you can get an idea of how I apply the sealer to the spindles. I just work my way around the spindle. I take my time and if I'm missing anything, I will get that on my second coat. So it's not a big, huge deal on the spindles if I miss a little section. Here's a reminder of what the piece looked like before. And here it is today. I think it's really cute. And if I may order a white knob for it and switch that out because that's what I originally wanted. I thought I had one more little white flower knob, but I don't, I use them all. So I did use this little gold one, but I don't know, I'm thinking the white flower knob would be really, really cute. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and let me know. I'll see you next time.